Hey Techheads, let's simulate a buck converter and build it from scratch. So open up ORCAD Capture, go to File, New, Project, set the name of your project, maybe something like but, buck, and it's going to be 20 kilohertz, right? You do 20 kilohertz, set it in a specific location, and then enable piece by simulation. When the prompt afterwards shows up, you choose to create from a blank project. So the next step is to place piece by components on your page. So let me zoom out with O, go to place, piece by component, and then you can place your piece by ground like this, hit escape, place piece by component. Actually, I'm going to hit the search option, then choose my favorites. And we're going to place a number of things here. So like a resistor, rotate with R to place that, place another resistor, and then hit escape. we got a capacitor to put on the output for this buck converter, an inductor, place that there. I'm also going to go with a VDC, which is going to be my input voltage, and then VPulse, which we will place right here. Let me put this ground at the bottom. The VPulse is going to go through a gate resistor to a FET. I'm going to go with the IRF840, and then the first one is good. Rotate this and place it right there. Next, I need a diode. So I want the Murata 150 diode, and this will be my flywheel diode. Rotate with R, place it there. Make sure to choose the second one. Now I am done with my components in the library. Let's right click and pan to zoom in here. Now it's time to set some values. So I'm going to go with a 500 microhenry inductor, then a 50 microfarad capacitor, a 10 ohm resistor as the load for the buck converter, a 33 ohm resistor to the gate of the MOSFET, 100 volts on the input, and then for this pulse width modulated signal, I will set the turn off voltage to negative one, and then the second voltage as eight to turn this FET back on. These could be swapped either way, it doesn't matter, it will work. And then the time delay will be zero, the rise time will be one nanosecond, Fall time, one nanosecond. The width of the pulse, I'm gonna go with 25 microseconds. Okay. And then for the period, we have 50 microseconds. That comes to 40 kilohertz on the frequency. All right, so let's go ahead and place the wires and see how this thing operates. A thing we need to be careful about is that the difference between the gate to source should be at least eight volts, not the gate to ground. The gate to ground will be greater or would need to be greater. And I hit W on my keyboard to get back into wiring mode if I want to. Okay, I'm gonna give this wire on the end a name. This will be output, so place net alias this will be out place it there place another net alias in and now's the fun part we're going to save this design and then simulate it so let's go ahead and go to piece by new simulation profile go transient to I already made a piece by simulation profile. I'm going to set this to six milliseconds for the runtime, no maximum step size, click apply, then OK. Now it's time to place a voltage probe on here. So go to piece by markers, voltage level, place one on the output, marker. Let's go to piece by markers, voltage differential. So we really get to see that nine volt difference between negative one and eight. I'm going to go ahead, save this. Then choose piece by Then choose run. The piece by simulation profile window appears. If your trace is too thin to see, then you might want to right click on the trace, choose trace property, then change the width of the trace. Now, when I choose to 
zoom in a specific area by clicking on this zoom area icon. I can drag and take a look at the ripple voltage, the rise time, the settling time of the waveform over time. And if I just zoom into a specific little area, I get to see that there as well. Okay, the design is operating as intended. The output is 50 volts, which is half of the, uh, the input voltage. And that makes sense because the duty cycle or T on over T off here is also half. All right, so that is how you create a buck converter from scratch and simulate it in Orchid Capture and P-Spice. If you would like to know how a buck converter works and you're not quite sure, maybe you've forgotten how to, then you want to watch this video in order to understand in depth how a buck converter actually works.